This is Nat. He's the founder of Water Inception. Then I'm going to. I want to bring clean water to refugees all around the world using innovative technology. Back in the 80s, just after the end of the Vietnam War, his parents escaped from a town called Kamau in the south of Vietnam. They took a boat from there to Malaysia, where they gave birth to a little boy, Nat. I was actually born in a refugee camp in Kuala Lumpur, but honestly, I don't remember any of that. After graduating from university, he decided to go to Japan for a girl. Love can make you do crazy things. But do you have to mention that? Uh, no, no, you're right. Whilst in Japan, he launched a donation platform to support victims of the earthquake in 2011. And thanks to that, he was nominated as a global shaper by the World Economic Forum and invited by the Aspen Festival of Ideas in 2013, where he became good friends with Richard Branson. Uh, well, actually, it was just a selfie. After eight years in Japan, he came back to Switzerland, and that's where he would later launch his non-profit organization. It's called Water Inception. And this is his story. One day, he was watching random videos on YouTube. And when I say random, I mean... And I came across a video of this guy. His name is Enrique. His invention extracts the humidity from the air using condensation technology and treats it with a UV process to make it clean and drinkable. It can produce up to 7,000 litres with 15% of humidity, which means desert conditions. And it can produce up to 15,000 litres per day in regular humidity conditions. I was a bit sceptical, but I decided to call the company to find out. Seria possible de ver la máquina? Ah, hay que ir a Sevilla para verla. Vale. So I was thinking this trip was going to be either an epic fail or something that would change my life forever. So I made a post on Facebook to tell my friends about this trip, but I didn't tell too much. Two weeks later, Nat met Enrique and his son Juan in Seville. He was shown around the factory and the machines. But really, the greatest moment was when I was able to drink the water straight out of the machine. And I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. At that precise moment, it was like a seed had suddenly been planted in his head. And that's why I named my organization Water Inception. On the last day, Enrique told him that his dream was to see his invention used in humanitarian projects to save lives. When he got back to Switzerland, he started researching about the worldwide water crisis to find out how severe the situation was. Believe me, it's pretty hard to realize there's a water crisis happening when you grow up in Switzerland and you're surrounded by water. The Global Risk Report established by the World Economic Forum has been reporting about the water crisis in the top five issues for the last four years. And from my research, among the people who are suffering the most from it right now are the refugees around the world. According to the UNHCR, there is an estimated 65 million refugees living in camps right now. That's the population of the United Kingdom. In some refugee camps, clean water is never enough and many people line up for hours just to get a few litres a day. So I was like, where do I start? Nat is part of the Global Shaper Network in which more than 7,000 young people are dedicated to make a positive impact on society. And whilst attending a Global Shaper event in Lebanon, organised by that network, Nat had a chance to visit a refugee camp. And try their hummus. Um, can, can we stay focused on the refugees for the video? Yeah. So we visited the camp and here are a few pictures that I took. The refugees were living in old tents for more than four years and their situation was really precarious. The camp had more than 150 refugees and a hundred of them were children between 1 and 12 years old. When I asked the leader of the camp, M. Nasser, about their water situation, she said the water they were getting from the camp wasn't enough and that forced her to buy some bottled water. But it was too expensive because she couldn't get a job. I was really touched by her story and I decided I would do everything I could to bring Enrique's invention to her camp. So Nat started pitching his project in different competitions and received two awards for his good ideas. Festivals that highlight promising social businesses and non-profit organizations. When I posted my story on Facebook, a friend of mine, JP, contacted me. And after a few conversations, they decided to team up. After that, we started knocking on doors of big organizations like the IKEA Foundation or the UNHCR, etc. I even went to Davos to try to meet with Matt Damon, but that's as close as I could get to him. He passed just right through me. The truth is, big organizations and celebrities will not start listening to us before we make some noise. 
So that's when you, watching this video, come into play. Every day, more than 2,000 children die because they don't have access to clean water. So I don't want to sit around and wait for those big organizations to open their door. So what we want to do is bring a water generator that will produce up to 400 liters per day in a specific camp in Lebanon. It will cost a total of 50,000 euros to send a machine from Spain to Lebanon and this includes a transport, water generator, solar panels so that the installation can be fully off-grid, meaning they'll have water even when electricity is cut. If we raise more than 50,000 euros, we will be even able to buy a bigger machine that can produce more water than the camp needs and they could start selling the excess of water to the local residents so they can start earning a living. With 65 million refugees around the world, there's still a lot of work to do. So if, like me, you believe that we should make those machines more available to refugee camps around the world, please donate to this project and share it with your friends. So let's try to solve the water crisis by acting together. We need you. Thank you for watching, and please go to waterinception.org to help refugees get the water they need today.